Welcome to a beautiful day in northern Michigan. Come along on today's flight from Harbor Springs to Denver, Colorado's Centennial Airfield. This is a single pilot, three hours, 948 nautical miles at flight level 430. Welcome back to Blue Max 6. Yeah, both Manistee, altimeter tree, zero one tree, advising of the weather, but approach you like known for Manistee, the ILS firmway 28 is out of service, the airport beacon is out of service, all directions are out. Harbor Springs traffic, kind of jet, two tango bikes taking runway one zero, IFR departure two south, Harbor Springs. Okay, taking off out of Harbor Springs, taking off on runway one zero today, okay, 4,149 feet. Four mile final for runway two seven, practice approach. Okay, runway one zero is confirmed. Takeoff power is set. And achieved, here we go. Airspeed is alive, both sides. Here's an 80 knot cross check. B1. Rotate. Thank you. Positive rate, gear up. Through 130, flaps up. Power from takeoff back to max continuous thrust. Minneapolis Center, good morning. How did Jet 682 Tango Mike is off runway 10 at Harbor Springs, uh, 13, uh, 1400 for 10,000. Remember, 682 Tango Mike, Minneapolis, Center Radar, Count, Central Mile, East, Field, Sunday, Tampa, 230, Tango Mike. Taking off, uh, flying out over Little Traverse Bay. Minneapolis Center 195, November Whiskey is on the missed approach, VOR 27, uh, 2600, climbing 4000. Number 195, November Whiskey, Minneapolis Center radar contact, two miles west of the field. Love talking to Minneapolis Center. I love taking off in this airspace. You just get cleared. You just get cleared up to your altitude so quickly. It's not like being on the East Coast or in the DC area where you're just getting vectored and climbed just a, you know, fraction. Nice to plus seven nine park cancellation receive stock VFR chain two advisory is the first. Right, there's ten thousand, we're gonna go into pitch mode, we're gonna pitch down to ten. We're gonna engage the autopilot. At Minneapolis Center one nine five number whiskey, I just wanted to verify if we're uh, gonna be clear direct to Traverse City. Would you like us to continue in that best approach? Exit at three twenty five, hold for release clearance. This is hold for release, you're clear from Harbor Springs to Traverse City. As filed by maintain 4000, slot 4231, departure frequency, this frequency, hold for release. Roger that, hold for release, we're clear to file, climb 4000, our squad code 4231, ZZ 325, hold for release. Is that correct? So with ZZet, who was just on the, uh, just getting their clearance from Minneapolis Center, I was just talking to those guys in the FBO while I was getting fuel. Really nice guys, one guy from Florida, one guy from uh, Texas, they're flying a Phenom 300, we talked about flying for a while, they asked a lot of really good questions about the Honda Jet, which was fun, and, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, my wife did come out to film the takeoff, so hopefully that looks good and I can put it up in the video. At Minneapolis Center, 195, Just performing great. Five number whiskey, affirmative sir, you are clear direct Traverse City Airport. 
Right, uh, clear direct driver to the airport, five nubs, no escape. Remember 682 Tango, my contact, Minneapolis Center, 132.42. 3242, 682 Tango, my Caesar. Minneapolis Center, good morning, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, 17,000 for flight level 230. Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, Minneapolis Center, good morning, climb 18, uh, flight level 330. Up to 3302, Tango Mike. Then we're going to go through transition altitude. There we go. So today I am flying to Den Denver Centennial Field. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to link up with a group called Velato. I'll put their information up. I've talked about Velato before. Uh, I post. I put some stuff up on Instagram today about going to their safety summit in Denver, which they invited me to. Uh, I thought that was really nice. We've been, we've been working collaboratively on some safety things uh, to deal with the Hanajet and Hanajet community. And I'd say Velado is uh, pretty ahead of the game and is willing to share a lot of their expertise, experience, procedures, and policies. And we'll take a look at that and see if we can use a little more broader. So flying single pilot today, which felt a little weird. I even put out to my local community in Michigan. I'm like, hey, I'm flying to Denver. Got open seats. Uh, nobody was, I reached out to friends. I reached out to, uh, there's a guy that I really like. Uh, it's a big YouTube guy. His name is uh, Mike Ojo. You can see him on Mojo Grip. Um, he is doing some really interesting things in the community. Recently started a flight school called Look Up Flight Academy. And uh, it really focuses on getting people into the cockpit and getting people trained all the way up through, you know, um, Fox 349 traffic, 12 o'clock, and about ATP one zero miles, a flight level 370. He's got a good focus on the, what I would call, uh, some different demographics and getting them in the cockpit, which I, which I think is fantastic. Target 302 traffic, 11 to 12 o'clock, and one zero miles westbound, flight level 360 or 737. Roger, have it on TCAS. We'll look for a copy of 302, thank you. I think somebody else called you with it. Never 5293, 23.6. Yeah, so look up Flight Academy out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, right near the Honda Jet factory. And, uh, I even said, hey, we've been trying to find time to fly together. Fly together. I'm like, come on, Mike, do this flight with me. He's like, can't do it. Reached out to a bunch of my buddies, and it just, it just did not work out that I could get someone in. So offered it up. Hey, let me fill some seats going to Denver. But here I am flying single pilot. Well, with you all. I appreciate it. I recently Number two, Tango Mike, climb and maintain flight level 430. 430, 682, Tango Mike. Yep, up to 430. Yeah, Matt Leone and I recently signed a panel together uh, and with about three other experts talking about the Honda Jet, Honda Jet market. And um, that was a lot of fun. And he, his operations team, his safety team have been absolutely incredible in working with us as we've been digging into some trends within the Honda Jet. Two Tango Mike, are you able to be at or above flight level 360 in uh, seven minutes or less? Two Tango Mike, stand by. 360, 10,000 feet, seven. Two Tango Mike, a affirmative. Number two Tango Mike, bump to be at or, below, uh, at or above flight level 360 in seven minutes or less, if unable to advise. Okay, at or above 360 in seven minutes or less, otherwise advised, you take a mic. Endeavour 5293, contact Minneapolis Center on 123.72. 2372, Endeavour 5293, good day. We'll bleed off a little energy for some climb, so I can beat that. Watching my AOA. Climbing at 3,000 feet per minute. So a group of us
Jet's been working together, analyzing some recent trends within the Honda Jet. There have been some runway departures. We're really taking a data-centric approach on this to make sure that we're trying to keep any of our personal experiences or biases out. What does the data tell us? We've reached some pretty good milestones in that investigative process. We're at a place now where we want to hand our findings over to an outside group of industry experts. And so there's some of the other owner and pilots associations like Citation Jet Pilots Association, uh, the Phenom Group, um, the team, so some participation from the Honda Jet uh, Operations and Safety Team. Some other industry experts are going to help us, or they're going to analyze separately and come back and tell us what their findings are. I do feel comfortable, pretty comfortable in saying that I see a couple of key factors. I think uh, planning and decision making. The second is flying stabilized approaches. And the third is uh, getting, managing the aircraft uh, at touchdown through to, all the way down to taxi speed. So not seeing any issues with the, the Honda Jet platform at all. Uh, that's why I think it's really nice to have Honda Aircraft Company contact, participate in this process with us. One, three, three, They're three, getting to take a look over our shoulders at the same time. Are we seeing three, three, similar eight, things? Seven, Iberia, six, six, four, oh, five. Uh, we've been able to work very closely with Garmin and very closely with ForeFlight. Uh, correction. Yeah, working with ForeFlight. Uh, ForeFlight is working with Honda and they're putting together the runway analysis capability that uh, they currently don't have for the Honda Jet. We're expecting to see that uh, in the next few months, which is fantastic. That allows us to do performance planning on the ground rather than just the performance management uh, inside the Garmin G3000. Garmin has make, made sure that we're there is access to uh, as much data as possible. Garmin just released something called the GDL60. Uh, it's not approved in my aircraft yet or in the Honda Jet yet, but it is a phenomenal box. Uh, it, it, what it does, in allowing really two-way data uh, sharing across the platform. So what that does is that pulls all of the performance data and then allows that to upload. So let, so let me for, fast forward to that. You all have heard me talk about AirSync before. I've got AirSync plugged in right now. AirSync is monitoring and collecting all of the data on this flight. The, the amount of data that it pulls off the data bus is incredible. Uh, as soon as I land, that cellular transfer of that data goes up and it comes back to me in the form of a report. How did I do? Then I get a Lufthansa 440, flight level 360. Lufthansa 440, Minneapolis Center, reset the transponder, squawk 7012. 7012, Lufthansa 440. So we're in the process of creating a FOQA program. Um, I'll put a link up there for what, the what FOQA yeah, is. is but we're really replicating a program that Cessna Jet Pilots Minneapolis Minneapolis. Association put together. What they found, and several years ago, probably about four years ago, they were in an extreme. They were in a similar situation. Yeah, six eight two Tango Mike. Just wanted to make sure that uh, I confirmed you need me above three five zero. Is that correct? At three six zero, the, the, it's working right now for my traffic. Thank you very much for the help. Two Tango Mike, you bet. Good morning, Six heavy flight level two. So what CJP found out when they were studying a very similar problem, they were having problems with people having Quid runway two, overruns. Six, Honda Jet has had two, some six, overrun two, issues, but runway departures. Two, six, two, uh, but they put together heavy. something called their they analyzed data and they came up with a safe to land program. What parameters do they want their pilots flying? Really 10,000 feet below and take off up to 10,000 feet. They built that based off their analysis. They built a training program around it. 
Swiss 6000 Minneapolis. Pilots can get trained to it. The second thing they did is they established their focal program, right? So their focal program is, is uh, military program. Hey, I want, I want to monitor my flights. Air sync. Two Tango Mike, thanks for the help. Contact Minneapolis Center on 123.72. 2372, Tango Mike, see you, sir. Delta 270. Center, good morning, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, 36.4, climbing 430. 682, Tango Mike, Minneapolis Center, welcome. Okay, so their focal program, voluntary program, monitors their flights, and, and within a minute of them landing, that data goes from AirSync up to a, a platform called Cloud Ahoy. Cloud Ahoy was recently acquired by ForeFlight, so Cloud Ahoy is now part of ForeFlight. The parameters that the CJP team put together around what is green, what is yellow, what is red, around that Cloud Ahoy platform. So if a pilot opts in, they land, they get an email shortly after landing, and it scores them on all the respective phases of flight that they think are critical to safety. And so they get to see that. What CJP gets is anonymized data, but aggregated data, and they can look and see uh, how all of their pilots are doing per platform. So it really works out well. The insurance industry loves it. So constant frustration has always been, hey, I, you know, as, pilot, as pilots get older, insurance companies like, hey, we don't want to, you know, we don't, we don't want to, you know, keep insuring you because we don't think that, you know, we think that as you get older. So there's always been a struggle. The insurance industry has always looked at age and number of hours. And this disrupts that a little bit. It allows them to see the actual performance. Think about you know the car insurance companies that let you plug in something and say, how are you actually driving your car, right? Let's base your rate on how you actually drive your car. And so now uh, the insurance companies have the ability to do something similar. And so there's a lot of goodness for people that are opting into this to these types of programs. And there's even some underwriters who are saying, hey, if you're willing to share that data with us, we'll give you an automatic discount on your on your aircraft insurance. And if you have a great year, we'll give you a rebate at the end of the year. So we are looking at implementing something like that uh, as well. Uh, we are in the process of, again, putting those together. What does that package look like? Uh, how can people opt in? It's a fascinating process, and I'm really grateful to be a part of it. So. I was really grateful that uh, Volato invited me to come down and participate in this safety event. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shut off cameras. Um, we're going to be up at cruise here for a little bit, and I will come back as we start to descend into Denver Central Airport. Alpha Bravo with you, 180 for. Hey, welcome back, folks. We uh, begin our descent into Denver Centennial. I was just given a crossing restriction. We did get a uh, reroute, which I expected to get. So we got the uh, uh, Dun 5 arrival. Expecting runway 35 right based on weather. Dun 5 arrival uh, from the Frey intersection. So I was just given a fr uh, crossing restriction of Frey at uh, 320. So. We are heading down at about 2,700 feet per minute to make fray at 320, and then we'll be on the arrival. Expecting to shoot the RNAV uh, for runway 35, right? 334. There we got VNAV and altitude capture. Yeah, we had a really nice flight. Uh, great performance out of the jet. Got to listen to XM radio, which was awesome. Denver Center, good, uh, good morning, I'll make a 658, flight of 370. We had uh, a... minus nine. We're getting uh, right around Mach 0 0.7 at uh, 430, which was great. I have to look at my notes here. There's a couple of things that I like to uh, make sure that I say, so I have to write them down, otherwise I forget every time. So. Posting on Instagram today, would really appreciate if you all follow us along on Instagram at BlueMax6. You can do a lot more content there a lot faster. Number 682, Tango Mike, contact number center 133.4.
Three three point four. Three three point four. Two tango mic. Denver Center, Hunter Jet six eight two tango mic two nine point six descending two eight zero. Hunter Jet six eight two tango mic Denver Center. We have direct done descend via done five arrival. Direct done done five two tango mic. Direct flight plan done. Activate. Flight 991, Denver Center, clear direct day, climb maintain, flight level 260. Number 682, Tango Mike, D Centennial, altimeter 3004. 3004, two Tango Mike. If you now, set up 3004, stand by. 004. Okay, VNAV capture. Send Canada for information, Romeo, 175, north. Special pressure news, flying into Parkland, runway 17 left, runway 17 right, runway 1028. Use caution for some test operations, two plus separate fellow runways. All departures advised, ground patrol, when run up is complete and remain on, ground patrol makes details advised. We have our departures advised, ground patrol, direction of flight. Notum, tax lane November, and hotel ramp close. Work in progress on Delta Echo and Fox Shirt ramps, runway 28 reels out of service. As weather in Colorado, thankfully, more information available on flight service. Advise, honor connect, you have Romeo. Romeo. All right, so they're still landing 1-7, which is a little bit of a tailwind. It's, the winds are really light. So I need to go back and reprogram for 1-7. So procedure, arrival, Dunn's 5 to runway 1-7 left. Load that. Yep. So I need to make sure that I do three now. Three, 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 three. United 445, Denver Center, Roger, descend via NYX 3, arrival, landing to the uh, south, Denver altimeter is 3000. And procedures. I descend via the uh, NYX landing south. You know. 7 left. Actually, we're going to do 17 left. Performance, landing data, 17 left, weather, 240 at 5. Exit at 667, traffic about your uh, 9 o'clock at 2 miles, northeast on TBM at 270. I'm going to ask about that tailwind. I don't like that. Get my plates closed. All right, so I'm reprogrammed and reoriented. Let me go back uh, to my notes there. Yeah, would appreciate if you all follow us along on Instagram. We put a lot more content up there because it's a lot easier to get up and uh, no editing required. Um, exactly. That's been fun. If you find value in this, you can help us support the channel by the super thanks, thanks that you see below. And also, there's a link in the description for Buy Me a Coffee. That goes towards helping us offset some of the costs for our give back flights. And so, if you, again, if you find value and you want to help with that, that would be uh, great. 100% of that goes towards uh, our ability to provide flights to Veterans Airlift Command and to Angel Flight. Hopefully, if you uh, think this is worthwhile and you've watched a couple of our videos so far, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. That just helps with the algorithm. It's really yeah, fascinating to see how some content does versus other. And uh, you can chase your tail trying to figure that out. But what you really realize is that it all has to do with the YouTube algorithms. So, again, if you've watched one or more of our videos and you find value with it, please go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. If you look below in the description, 
We have no sponsorships. Uh, but you can see some of the products and services that I found valuable. I'm no longer a professional pilot, but did that for a career in the military. But I spend a lot of time figuring out what really works for us, both in planning, executing, you know, uh, having survival gear. Take a look. I'd be interested in the comments if you uh, see the same thing, if you see value in those products and services as well. I'm a big fan of doing research. We don't call it stocky. We call it research. So I research the heck of that stuff. I like to talk to other people. I like to try things out and see if they work. So I put those uh, down below. All right, Got so we are descending through contact number approach one, two, six, flight level 235. 2655. Uh, the Duns 5 arrival for runway 17 left into Denver Centennial. Talked to a couple of buddies of mine. Matter of fact, um, that have flown in here before. Center, Not only do they recommend uh, Centennial, but just curious if you want Jet Center at Centennial is one of the best places uh, to go. So I went into four flight. I looked up for that FBO. I read all of the comments on them and said, yep, I'll be going in there. They do a really good job working with CAA, which is a fuel discount program. 4270, contact number center 135.4, hell up higher. And uh, the fuel prices there are very good. Center, good afternoon. Air Mexico 658, 342, descending for 300. Air Mexico 658, there is Makes it worthwhile. Good service, good prices on fuel. Pilots flying in there from Cessna 172s all the way up to big business jets. have great things to say. So, I'll give it a try. Landing altitude at Centennial is just above 5,800 feet. That's a pretty high altitude. One, two, five, one, two, five, Runway is a little over 10,000 feet long. All right, we're going to go down to Imagine at 16,000. Thousands in, VNAV is captured. Two Tango Mike, contact Springs approach 124.0. 24.0, two Tango Mike. Springs approach, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike descending via the arrival with Romeo. Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, Springs approach, Carter Springs altimeter 3005. 3005, 2 Tango Mike. Honda Jet 2 Tango Mike, contact Denver approach 128.45, see ya. 2845, 2 Tango Mike, see ya. Denver approach, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, uh, descending via the arrival with Romeo. Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, turn approach, uh, room is current, find a visual approach 17 left, turn roll timbers 3000. Visual 17 left, 3000, two Tango Mike. Okay, we're on speed for the arrival. Beautiful terrain. I landed in Denver about a year and a half ago when I flew out to Napa. First time back since then. Looks like our fuel plan's coming out just right. Plan to land with 600 pounds of fuel. Honda Jet 2 Tango Mike, contact departure on 132.75, 3275, see ya. 2 Tango Mike, you switch me to departure, I'm on my way inbound to Centennial. 2 Tango Mike, affirmative, 3275, uh, vectors for you. 3275, 2 Tango Mike. Departure, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike's with you on the uh, Dunst 5 arrival. 682, Tango Mike, never approach, runway 17 left, turn right, heading 330, descend to maintain 10,000. 
Right 330 down to 10,000, two tango bikes. Omni 56, traffic 2 o'clock, 4 miles south today, indicates 8,500. Alright, we got a Monty gas, Omni 56. Number 804, Hotel Sierra, contact Emerson Center, 133.4. So today. off the arrival below the Class B shelf now, that's going to limit four, me to 200 knots. So I'm slowing back. Set my speed bug. Power's coming off. So off the arrival and off the approach, expecting the visual. Three three zero heading down to ten thousand feet. Two hundred knots before I get under the class B. It's ten thousand feet, two hundred knots. I'm at two tango mic, turn ten degrees right, descend to maintain nine hundred thousand. Right ten degrees down at nine hundred thousand, two tango mic. Omni 56, how far east you're gonna go? Thousand feet. Approximately 50 miles to the east, and then we'll uh, have to climb up a little bit and do some maneuvering, and then we'll come back uh, to Centennial for Omni 56. Okay. Number 2 Tango Mike, traffic 12 o'clock, one mile out to indicate 7,700. 2 Tango Mike, got about TCAST, no, oh, Tally Hill, no factor. I heard a camera shut off, don't know which one. I've really been getting great performance out of the GoPro since I learned a few tricks. But hopefully you can see the uh, snow cap Rockies out at our, out on our left. It's absolutely stunning. Since I'm level for a little bit, I'm gonna use CSC, cruise speed control. Keep me below my speed limitations. I'm pretty below the class B shell. Left three five zero four two one. Number two tango mic, do you send to maintain eight thousand? Down to eight thousand, two tango mic. It's pressure, good afternoon, Gulf Stream five ten, Fox means approaching eight thousand, heading two nine zero. Number five ten, Fox Jet Romeo, down to departure radar contact, climb and maintain one two thousand. Number two tango mic, airport eight o'clock, five miles. Two tango mic, field site. Two Tango Mike, join a five mile final at 8,000, clear visual approach, runway 17 left. Okay, five mile final at 8,000, clear for the visual, 17 left, two Tango Mike. Understood, sir, we're looking at the traffic, we're currently at 6,700, we're looking to do a quick right turn to get over uh, Red Rock for a low pass. Army 011, Roger. Army 05, Echo Mike, do you send to maintain 11,000? Down 11,000, five How many 5-6 approach? Honda Jet, two tango mic, Connect Centennial Tower, 118.9er. Switching to tower, thanks. Two tango mic. Fly runway heading, winds 0903, runway 17 left, take off. Take off, 1-7 left, fly runway heading, left jet 75. Tower on a jet 682 Tango Mike, uh, 8000 for 17 left. On jet 682 Tango Mike, Centennial Tower, continue runway 17 left traffic, behold the English. Tango Mike. Archer 988 Alpha Mike, wind 080 at 3, can you step runway 28? Okay. First set of flaps, speed checks. Yes, 6 up to a 988 Alpha Mike. 8 Alpha Mike, Roger, continue eastbound, reach the park road, follow to the north. Distracting the autopilot. Left jet 75, turn left, heading 080. Turn 080, left jet 75. Left jet 75, good climb to 8000. There's traffic about uh, 3 miles east of your position, descending out of 7000. Okay, gears down, locked, doors closed. closed. Roger that. Uh, good climb up to 8000, left jet 75. Speed's coming down to ref. 75. 
as you turn to the east, uh, the Great Scott traffic test uh, will be uh, headed to your left at about the two miles. Flaps coming in. 7,500 for the 28 runway Cessna. Contact your departure, let them know you're looking for that traffic. On jet two tank mic traffic, King, you're taking runway for departure, runway 17 left, clear to land. Two tank on mic, clear to land. Career track uh, 543, traffic headed to your left, oh, one mile good. eastbound, 8,000. Uh, Looking for traffic, track 543. Wait up, Mike, you start that left turn northbound. Yeah, I did. Northbound, Niner AA, Alpha Mike. And that was for 8 Alpha Mike, get Alpha Mike, only northbound. Northbound, Niner AA, Alpha Mike. Crew track 543, you're still clear to land runway 28. Clear to land runway 28, crew track 543. Tower medevac uh, 731, Gulf Alpha, uh, holding in sequence, ready for takeoff, 171. 500. 731, Gulf Alpha, Center, Roger, winning up release. Actually, right off the mic, you're number two, following Cessna approaching Park Road on final for runway 28, runway 28, clear to land. Number two, 28, clear to land, 8, Alpha Mike. Minimum, minimum. Continue. Traffic. Looking for him, flight check 84. Three six zero eight Sierra Centennial Tower, runway 17 left, line up point traffic challenger, five northeast of field radar down. Runway 17 left, line up the speed brakes are out, max break. Light check 84, turn right heading 290, contact down departure. 290 departure, flight check 84, see you. Number two tank of mic, turn left, one able, ground, one even off. Left one able, over to ground, two tank of mic. In. All right, let's see how we did on fuel. 2,110 pounds. That's really close to what we expected. Grab a picture. So I know what I have on board. Shocks are in. All right, thanks so much for flying along.